What is up my friends and family? Welcome to another full day of vegan bodybuilding bulking. I appreciate you guys coming in here and checking it out. If you're not familiar with the channel already, I have been eating vegan for probably about the last two months. And the reason for me doing that is because I was on Accutane for a really long time. I used to have really bad acne. Um, and then I wanted to switch over to some sort of something new, some sort of new experiment, a new a new diet or something after I got off Accutane. So I've been doing vegan for about two months and Personally, I've seen a lot of improvement in my face. It's It's been massive it's, and it's really made me happy. Anyways, what we got for breakfast is just a little bit of cold watermelon from a half watermelon I had in the fridge last night. A probably about a medium apple here. Oof, all in the fridge, super good. And then I microwaved up probably about two cups in total of refried beans and brown rice. I know that's not the most glamorous meal right there, but this is just a little bit of fuel. I don't like to get huge meals in before my leg days. So this is just a little bit of fuel before my leg day, uh, which is about an hour from now. I also wanted to say thank you guys so freaking much. Look at that, 57 thousand subscribers that is immense after five years gotten 57,000 I never thought I would ever get to this I'm not even kidding you I never thought this was ever gonna happen so it's just freaking amazing and also finally thank you a huge huge thank yous to um, breaking healthy will and also Melissa Kleifkin you guys are amazing both of those two sent in $10 Chipotle gift cards because they know that I'm doing the 10,000 calorie Chipotle challenge which is tomorrow when you guys are watching this on Friday it's gonna be tomorrow so I appreciate that because the whole challenge is going to cost about $100, so that's going to help out massively. Thank you. We are about to head out to the gym. It is 12.30. I have a scoop of pre grow in here with a little bit of grape aminos for my protein shaken up. LP's got his in a pro mixer. He's about to blend up. Over here, we're doing our pre-workout parry as always. Super fun. If you want to join in, we do it every single day at beyond the week. All one word, beyond the week. Just like this, beyond. The week. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish up this parry and then we're off to hit. Well, I'm gonna hit legs. I don't know what. What are you gonna hit? Back and biceps. Ooh, Ooh, jelly, jelly. Two hours later. All right, guys. So I just got back from the gym. Hit legs. Smash it to death. My pre-workout is obviously still zinging me around. But yeah, I'm I'm super. I feel really good. I'm super starving. Just finished that big ass workout. So now we're gonna make some homemade chipotle. I'm excited. Let's. Do it! So this is the first step, you gotta wash your black beans because all that juice, you see all that, all that butt juice that's going down the sink? That is literally the stuff that makes you fart. I'm not kidding you. The brine and the juice is what makes you fart from beans. I'm so freaking serious. This is an entire can of beans. This is 16 ounces, 430 grams of black beans. That is going right into the frying pan, which is already hot. Boom. And then also I'm gonna try to equal that same amount of black beans. I have already cooked brown rice here. It's the bomb. Cook a ton of brown rice and then you can just throw it into stuff. There we go. So that looks like about half and half. And then I'm gonna throw a little bit of mushrooms in here while they cook down. And this is pretty much what it's gonna be because that's what makes it awesome. So I'm obviously, now I'm not kidding. It is super, super hot. You see I'm sweating so hard. It is terrible, terrible cooking while it's like 98 degrees out. It's very bad. Also though guys, I have a special tip. Someone from Chipotle, I'm not gonna say who because I don't wanna get in trouble, but she emailed me and said, hey, check it out, Chipotle, I have the ingredient list, I have everything, and I wanna show you what's actually in all this stuff. In the rice, per four ounces of rice, there was one tablespoon of rice oil. She said rice oil. So just keep that in mind that the rice actually does have a little bit of fat. Now we're not gonna do it that way, but that's just a little random tidbit fact. All right, the beans and rice have warmed up. This is the final ingredient. I'm gonna have a little bit of this beefless ground beef and the macros on it, we're working with 80 calories per serving with 1.5 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So I'm probably gonna use about two servings of this, which looks something like, whoop, whoop, whoo, got a big old. Got a big old meat turd thing. I'm gonna let this finish up cooking. I'm putting this on the burner right now. So you got the fire. And basically you just toss it on there every couple of seconds, pick it up, flip it over, and you just keep doing this until your tortilla is starting to look appetizing. So that's really up to you. LP likes to burn them all the way. I don't really like to burn them. I like to get them like just like that. So I have my burrito bowl, my tortilla right here, nice and kind of toasted up. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the oil and put a little bit of oil. And you keep on putting on the oil. Okay, so now I have all of it in a bowl 
And I've been trying to get more fats in because I actually kind of messed up a little bit my diet last week. Had a little bit more fat on a night and then I had like such solid strength the next day. I felt so good. So that means I need more fats in my diet. Now, I'm not very experienced with guacamole guys and avocados, but do they get like darker when oxygen hits them? I'm stupid. I don't know. But like, look, the whole thing was this color and then I scraped off the top layer and then there was good stuff underneath it. I'm not really sure if any of that matters at all, if I'm just being a baby, but for some reason it just kind of grosses me out until I have it confirmed that it's not. So I'm just gonna do a little, a dollop, and then a second dollop here. There you go. Second dollop. And finally, the last thing I wanna throw into this bowl is a lot of spinach, just for the micros. And hell, man, it, it's good. Having some greens in there kind of brings a little crunch to it, so it like varies the texture. I'm big on having each ingredient of the entire meal on my fork per bite. And then finally, I'm going to just douse it in Tabasco Chipotle sauce. This makes my life so much better. I love this stuff. So this is the meal, guys. It's a big, big meal. It's a big bowl eaten out of a dog bowl. Yep, because it's so big, it won't fit in anything else. I am excited for this. This is going to take care of about half my calories for the day. I would probably say this is about, let me think, probably upwards of just about 1,000 to 1,100 calories, maybe 1,200 calories, something like that. So I am really excited about putting this in my mouth. Here we go. Uh -oh, here. You stupid. Come on. Woo! Look at her. She's a ferocious beast. She's so cute, though. Come on, stupid. Come on. Come on, Dingo. The whole world's watching. You're failing. Good job. Ooh, you're so happy. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh. That's embarrassing. Look how embarrassing that is. We're all looking at you. Where'd the stick go, stupid? That was embarrassing. Oh. Everyone watched you pee just now. They watched you pee. <laughs> Where are we going, LP? The mall. Why? Because it's hot in his damn a father's back in the summer. Hey, now. I like how you censored that. Mm -hmm. It's really freaking hot, guys. I'm wearing my Babushka shirt that Lisa gave me. Thank you, baby girl. You're the best. We're gonna go in the AC because it's really hot. Maybe pick up a vegan cookie. See you in a minute. <laughs> Just being weirdos, man. <laughs> guys, check this out. So we're at Nutrimart. This is Nutrimart, right? Yeah. This new, we're at Nutrimart. Anyways, check it out. They still have the 13 dimethylamine. Dimethylamine. Check it. That's probably the best part about these Nutrimarts here in, in San Diego. What are you doing, girl? I'm always looking at Max Gainers every time. Every time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mentioned this Illuminati brand tree, though. It looks, like a, it looks like a movie preview to me. It, it does, like a right? a Batman movie. Right? Yeah, like it would be like uh, Paramount Pictures. Rule one with Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking around the mall because security. it's freaking amazing, so much cooler than outside. Yeah, there's some security over here. Yeah. Don't make me beat him up, bro. Anyways, I picked up a Lenny and Larry's. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I got the Snickerdoodle flavor. That means it's 185 calories uh, times two. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's 370 calories, uh, eight grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, and 56 grams of carbs, 30 grams of sugar. These things are amazing. They make me so happy, man. It's like hard. It's 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 hard to resist these things. Anyways, just walking around the mall, having people stare at us. It's pretty fun, man. We should go pants this. You see this, guys? This is called making it work. Right here, <laughs> pull into the ATM backwards. All of a sudden, your friend can get money out from the passenger seat. Yeah, it's actually pretty sweet, just man. Imagine how much people would hate us if somebody pulled in like this way. Oh, and I gotta, right then I gotta reverse out of this. <laughs> That'd be so pissed. What's up, my cats and dogs? So, I am about to make some dinner, and I was gonna cook something on the frying pan, but it is freaking hot. It is so hot, I don't want to turn on any open flames, so I'm gonna kind of go a little bit freezer food today. So don't get out of it too hard. These are actually pretty good though. They're just sweet potato curly fries, and they are made with canola oil, I believe. So canola oil and just sweet potatoes, pretty clean. Um, and I'm trying to get away from these. I'm not gonna include too many fake meat products, um, but 
today again I'm not cooking so I gotta get my protein in somehow so these two turkey cutlets will give me 22 grams of protein in addition to the probably about six to eight grams that's in this this is probably about six or so servings so these fries are probably coming out to maybe about 600 ish 700 ish and then these two together is 150 calories also I just got my broccoli steamed so this is four servings of just plain broccoli I'll munch this up while I'm waiting and I think LP just got home so I'm gonna go talk to him yeah I got four servings 25 calories Calories, three grams of protein each. So this is 12 grams of protein. Okay, I'm gonna eat this down, and then this has to cook for about 30 minutes. So we'll see this in just a minute. Ooh, look at this. This is just how I like it. Like seriously, look. A little bit of the the ends are crisped up. I would say you might say burnt. I would say crisped up, right? Look at this, and these are nice and crispy. Here, let's see if I can. You can kind of hear it. Ready? I don't know, it's nice and crispy. Looks really good. I have a nice little lake, a little reservoir, as always, of ketchup, because we're gonna team ketchup for the win, no doubt. And I'm gonna plate all these. I'm gonna watch an episode of Dexter as I eat these. And I'm gonna have one more meal before bed, so let's see what that delicious last meal is. Ooh, so things are getting saucy on Dexter. Whatever her name is, Lieutenant Le Guerta, yeah, boom! Le Guerta is accusing Dexter of being the Bay Harbor butcher. I've got myself a cup of rolled steel oats with a little bit of cocoa powder, about three tablespoons. You guys know my, my mixture up here. Um, about a cup of almond milk. I'm about to put a little bit of PB2 in there. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this stuff, but it's dehydrated peanut butter. That's literally it. If you get the chocolate kind, it has a little bit of cocoa powder in it, but it's literally just peanuts. No other ingredient. <laughs> it's freaking insane. So it's pretty rad. That adds very little calories. It's very little fat in it. I'm gonna use these Flav Drops. I'm using the mocha flavor because these things kick ass. They literally like change the freaking oats game, yo. No, seriously, I use these pretty much every single time I have oats. And oats are awesome because they have a pretty sweet like set of macros. Um, and they're super filling and they're just super easy to make. Today I've just been really lazy. Yeah, like I just said, it's been really hot today, like really hot. So I've just been really lazy with my foods. I've just been kind of going with microwaves or like oven stuff. Um, so I've been kind of lacking a little bit of my vegetables. I know, I know. And finally, after I finish this, I'm going to have a Laura bar, which is literally just dates, cashews, and cocoa butter and salt. Those are the four ingredients in this, so it's super natural, super delicious, and I believe that's gonna be it, my friends. If there's anything else that I eat before I go to bed tonight, I'll put it up over the screen right now, you guys can see it. If not, though, that was it. Thank you guys for joining me for another full day of bulking as a vegan bodybuilder, however you wanna title and phrase that. But yeah, I wanted to take you guys through another one because I know people get kind of inspired and get different ideas and whatnot, and the Chipotle bowl one is one that I wanted to show you guys because I wanna see you Instagram and that and stuff because that's kind of my new stir fry I don't even have the stir fry as much I think I'm gonna have this Chipotle bowl thing like a bazillion times anyways I'm rambling I love you guys thank you for checking out the, the episode I really appreciate it. you guys are awesome give it a thumbs up if you did it if you did like it give me a comment let me know what you thought and if you're not subscribed to the channel already please subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next vegan bulking episode team beyond the week CT lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker